For those new to 3D Studio Max, maybe you've gotten it with one of the product design suites or factory design suites, I thought I'd show you just a quick comparison between a couple different renderers in 3D Studio Max. Uh, the first is the Mental Ray rendering engine. And with that, I'm just using a preset, making a couple changes to the, the size and to the final gather precision. And I'll go ahead and render with those settings. And we'll just keep an eye on how long it's going to take. And I'll probably fast forward here a little bit. Okay, so it looks like that took uh, just about a minute and 25 seconds, a minute and 20 seconds maybe. Let's now try a different renderer, and I'm going to use this iRay Manager to do that, and I will set that as my current renderer. Uh, this is a utility you can download, and just to give you a quick look of where to grab that, it's on the website you can do it tvfx.com installation instructions instructions are on that web page so I'm just going to use the defaults here and I'll double check that we do have the same video size set up here and let's go ahead before I render that I'm going to clone my frame here just so we can have a comparison once this completes. Alright, I'm going to pause that. That one was at about a minute and 25 seconds as well now. I just wanted to give you a visual comparison between the renderers. Uh, there are some different aspects to the renders, renderers, technical details I'm not going to go into, but iRay is a newer technology that's using graphics card processing power in addition to your normal CPU processing. Uh, it does interpret some of the settings on some materials differently, as you can see here. There's a little bit less ripple to the water, but depending on the effect you're looking for, you can see that things like reflections and the actual conditions of light bouncing are a little bit truer with eye ray than they are with the mental ray renderer. Um, for the same amount of time you can get just a, a rough idea of the differences in quality. As an example looking at one of the, the palm trees in the background right here you can actually see what that is with eye ray. With the mental ray it's just kind of a, a fuzzy blob in the background right here. Alright thanks for joining us on this edition of the Tata Technologies CAD Geek blog.